As a Republican candidate for governor, Chris Sununu is no fan of Common Core. But as an executive counselor, he says he had to swallow hard and renew an outside contract that assesses student achievement within the federal educational standard. Left us with virtually no choice. And, and because of that, they put $250 million at risk for teachers and students in this state. That's wrong. We've got to get our priorities straight. I'm, I would never put that type of money at risk for this state. Seated next to Sununu, executive counselor Colin Van Ostrin, a Democratic candidate for governor. And he joined with the rest of the council to vote in favor of the contract related to what is a certainly controversial state issue. There's plenty of time for campaigning, uh, but when it comes to the work we need to do on behalf of the people of the state, I was glad that we all voted together on this. Moving forward, though, their differences on the council will be highlighted in the context of a governor's race, in which both face primary opponents. Meanwhile, just across the street from the council meeting, Trump Sununu 2016. A little political hijinks from Democratic Party Chair Ray Buckley who needled Sununu for his pledge to support whoever wins the Republican presidential nomination. And the mock campaign sign even got a chuckle from Sununu himself. I'm not quite sure what that refers to. <laughs> I don't, last time I checked, I'm not the vice presidential nominee. It's just beginning, folks, and this Sunday on Close Up, we'll talk to Republican Chris Sununu about the job he has and the job that he wants. That airs Sunday morning once again at 10 a.m.